Yay, hallelujah. <laughs> Good to have you guys here. This is Ace and Noise Get Media here. Of course, we're looking at how to multi-track your addictive drums in Pro Tools successfully. Now, guys, you know, of course, if you have your home studio and you do not have the ability of bringing in your acoustic drums, you want to use the virtual drums like the addictive drums to achieve your aim. Now, in doing this, you want to multi-track them eventually so you can mix them just the way you want, like you'll be mixing your acoustic drums. All right. Now, how do you put them in their own individual channel? Talking about having your kick in, in its own audio channel, the snare, your hi-hat, all of them separately on the channel so you can mix them just the way you want. Like the pros do. Of course, you are the pro. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in a Jiffy. All you need to do is subscribe, like this channel, of course, for more videos like this. Welcome, guys. Let's go straight ahead to the video. All right, guys. Now, back to your door. That's your Pro Tools system. All you want to do now is to check that you have your channel, where you have your virtual drums. Recall that this channel here is an instrument track. Just in case you're new to Pro Tools or however you don't know how to set up your instrument track, I have a video where I explain how to create your instrument track in Pro Tools. You can just check out for that video. Now, guys, we have an instrument track here already, and we have our virtual drums, okay? Now, we want to multi-track these virtual drums, whereby we can have the kick, like on this channel, where we have three mono channels created already, because we want to have our kick, the snare, and the hi-hat on this other channel here. So now, we have individual audio channels, mono tracks for that matter. Now, first thing first, we go straight into our virtual drums, in this case, we are using the addictive drums. Now, on the addictive drums, it comes up this way. And you have these arrows at the bottom here, pointing towards the bottom of your digital audio workstation. You have this arrow here pointing downwards of your door. So you click on this arrow. This is where you get to route your kick. For example, this channel has your kick. So you click down here and say separate out. You click on the snare and then you come down here to the arrow, you say separate out to the hi-hat, you come down here and say separate out. Now you have the three channels, your kick, your snare and the hi-hat. I haven't routed them out this way. You close and then now you have the audio channels where you have audio one, for example, now you haven't routed from the virtual drums itself where you have those arrows pointing downwards on your audio channel you come here and say to the input you click and say plug in all right i'm using a third party to bring in my uh addictive drums that's the blue cat patchwork because it's a dll file extension it's not the ax file extension all right so that place you choose the very first channel there you have the kick now we want this snare into this channel so you come to the input here and you go to the plugin and you say blue card patch walk you come here all right so we have the snare there and then lastly on the third channel we want the hi-hat so you come here plugin you come to the third channel all right now haven't done that the next thing is to prepare these tracks you record enable them okay you by clicking on these buttons here you click on this one so the three of them at the same time are going to be recorded at the same time so what you want to achieve is to ensure that our uh virtual drums is recorded uh in a multi-track format so right now let's see what happens here okay let's record see right let's just stop and see what we have now when you look at this channel here you can see we have the kick we have the snare and we have the hi-hats multi-tracking happening already now you can decide to mix this instrument just the way you would love to mix your caustic drums for example you have them all now we can mute this virtual drum here and then let's play all over again and see what we have. You can see, that's the kick. We have the hi-hat. 
and we have the snare. All right, we have the kick just on this channel where you can solo them to hear them. For example, you bring this here, you hear the kick, right? Now, if you come down here, you can hear uh, just the hi-hat. Uh, sorry, the snare this time around. If it's the hi-hat, then it's the third channel. The snare, let's play and see. You can hear that, that's a snare. So we have them recorded individually. Guys, this is amazing. And if you've learned uh, one or two things from this very video, I would implore you to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We have more videos where this came from. All right, guys, remember, you'll be the extraordinaire.